Back Open Gazelle. All right, Charnier, Chef Task YYC. Very excited for today's video. So excited for a few reasons, but uh, this is going to be a great breakdown of the Back Open Gazelle. Real quick, show off my new shirt, Pinto Pony long sleeve. Very excited for this. If you haven't, I'm sure you have, but just in case, make sure you check out youtube.com slash Pinto Pony Productions. If um, you like my stuff, you're definitely going to like Bill Stoppard stuff. Okay, moving on. So back open gazelle. If you've seen some of my videos, then you've probably are at least a little bit familiar with the gazelle. Now a gazelle is a two foot three turn. Remember a three turn is a transition from forward to back or backwards to forwards from edge to edge along the arc of a circle. It gets its name from the shape. You kind of draw a number three with your feet as you perform this move. Now the gazelle, the two foot version, has four variations. So I didn't even know about this till a couple months ago when I met up with Leon and Colin and they showed me these new positions. And what was really unique that I hadn't really considered before was this closed parallel position. So let's talk about these positions so I can kind of break down what back open gazelle means. So the first position we're looking at here is the forward open position. And the idea is that my hips are open to the circle. So that's the best way I can think of it is my hips are facing like out. You see the circle in the middle of the gymnasium there. My hips are facing out from the circle. Or I'm going forward. Here I'm going backwards. Hips are out again. So I'm in my open, kind of open to the circle. Here I am closed to the circle in the forward position, so we'd say forward closed. And it's the under push position if you're used to doing crossovers. So I think of this a lot like a crossover position. Under push, again, don't forget corresponding edges, one inside, one outside edge. Here's another look at the forward uh, closed position. And you'll notice my feet are slightly crossed, which is just perfectly fine. They can be crossed or uncrossed. The important thing is being on the proper edges and my hips are now facing the inside of the circle. And backwards, again, very similar to that crossover, feet are slightly crossed, but I'm definitely on my corresponding edges and my hips are facing into the circle. So back closed position. Now, the four gazelles, let's look at all four of those now. Starting with the uh, forward closed position, now the back closed, so we'd say back closed gazelle. Very nice, I like that closed position. Again, the forward closed. Very nice, I like that spot. The forward open, so you see my hips are open. and open. Now it is important to note that when you're doing these gazelles, you start as you finish as far as your open or closed positioning. So here for example, open to open. So open to open. My hips start open, they finish open. Open to open position. Very good. Okay, and that right there was our back open gazelle. So let's get into it. How do we practice this? We start with simply gliding and trying to find our third or second wheel. For gliding forward, we want to be on our third wheel. For gliding backwards, we want to be on our second wheel. So we call this the predator position. The idea is that we're just kind of very ready, very precisely balanced in a predator sense. I don't know. <laughs> ready for a predator. Okay, how am I practicing this? You notice me bending and straightening up slightly, tipping forward and back. What I want to do is find the position where my feet kind of want to roll as efficiently as possible. When I'm going backwards, when I bend my knees into my cuffs, or push my shins into my cuffs, I find that second wheel. Okay, that was really quick, but you get the idea. Predator finding the weight placement, either on your third or your second wheel. Once we've done that, then we want to think about our edges. Remember, we're going corresponding edge to corresponding edge. So one inside, one outside, opposite on the other side. So if you've never done some slaloming before, start like this. Edge to edge, 
just on the spot. Edge to edge, and you notice a little scissor developing with my outside edged foot. Edge to edge, okay, so once I get used to this, I wanna do it moving. I'm gonna start by lifting my toes back and forth, get myself moving, and then really precisely finding my edges. So now I'm slaloming. This is something that I do every time I'm out for a skate, it's just this wide stance slalom back and forth. It's a really great warm up. And I find from the wider stance, I get into that third wheel position a little easier. I'm just developing the feel, warming my body up to it. So that's a great warm up. I really enjoy doing this. So forward and now backwards. And I follow the same procedure. If you haven't done it before, starting on the spot, right, edge to edge, and then lifting my heels in this case. And then as I get moving back, I find that sweet spot on my second wheel. Very nice. And uh, this is another view of it. And here you get a better look at my edges, making sure I'm finding the corresponding edges. The trouble for me is my inside edge. I skate more on my outside edges, so getting onto the inside edge can be a bit tricky. Oh, easy, Sean. Okay, so now we've practiced our gliding, we've practiced our slaloming. What we want to do next is get into our um, push and pull action. So this is something a little bit different. Think of it as a combination of the predator and half slalom. So I'm gliding and then a half slalom. I follow a circle to kind of give me a guide. I glide kind of at a tangent to the circle and then a half slalom to kind of get me back towards the circle and so on. You'll see here. So starting going backwards. Now for Naming sake, we call this the pull. If I'm going backwards, I'm practicing my pull motion. So gliding, half slalom. Gliding, half slalom. Gliding, half slalom. And I'm doing this from the open position. Because remember, I'm practicing my back open gazelle. And then the push. Kind of that same thing forward. So predator glide, half slalom. Predator glide, half slalom. Good, using the circle as my guide. Always turning back towards the circle. Gliding away, slaloming towards. Good, and a better view here. Glide and pull. Glide and pull. Glide and pull. Remember, the pull is just a half slalom. You've already practiced that. This is not much more difficult. Probably easier than slaloming, actually. Okay, and now the push. Glide and push. Glide and push. And interesting note, you see my right foot is not very much on the inside edge. <laughs> it's more on a center outside edge. Yep, okay. Very good. So now we've got the idea of the push and the pull. So now the gazelle is gonna happen when we rotate as we, so for this case, I'm going back open. So as I pull from my open position, push into my open position, but I'm rotating the whole time. So I'm pull and rotate, rotate and push. Okay, so let's look at that now. Good, now practicing this on the spot first, very useful. Okay, so getting into my positioning, Okay, and you see this motion here. So what's happening is I'm rotating and kind of rising up. So this is that pull. Weight is on the second wheel at this point. Good, I'm spinning around a little bit too much here. There, and now you see my feet kind of go into a V position. So when I'm practicing this statically, that is actually my goal is to get into a V see a few better examples coming up. Okay, so find my position, get my edges. Okay, I'm in the open parallel position. There, into that V. And now adding in the push. Good. All right. So here we go. Getting into my position, training my body, finding that second wheel. Okay, head is up, rotate. Rotate and pull, rotate and push. Good, and that transition right there is where that get transition from second to my third wheel. So what I'm gonna do next is, 
I'm not going to worry about the push. I'm just going to glide into um, uh, glide into the pull and rotate through. So I'm going to pull and rotate at this point. Not much of a push. Rotate, pull. The rotation happens before the pull, I should say. It happens together, but better to think of it as rotate first and then pull. Okay, so I'm getting all the way around at this point. So now, you know, I'm just about ready to add in that push. Try a few more of these. Okay, and here I'm trying to balance a beanbag on my head and my hands as I'm practicing. Now I find that with a beanbag on my hands here, I have a much better kind of awareness of my rotation. Okay, so now I'm right into my... There it is. That's the back open gazelle. A few more. Now without the beanbags, I find that my rotation looks a little bit sloppier. I need to work on this. My arms should be traveling together a little bit better. But a few more looks at it. Good. Following the arc of the circle. You see me looking down and checking. Nice. Rotate, pull, and push. So the difference between doing it statically is I'm not stopping the rotation at all. I'm just following the rotation through as I pull and push. Okay, so there's the breakdown. Hope that helps a lot. A little bit of homework for you guys. Let's watch some um, of the closed gazelles, focusing more on the forward closed gazelle. I find that back open gazelle you'll learn first, and the next logical step would be this forward closed gazelle. They're somewhat related. So, here we are. I don't want to talk too much about this. I would like to get more into a discussion, so I'd like to for you to watch this and use some of these concepts that we've been talking about as far as weight transfer, you know, balance, rotation, edging, and weight transfer. Excellent. Oh, I'm biting my tongue. I don't want to say much. I do really like this closed position because um, I find that I do have a stronger inside edge when I'm holding this position, so I can really follow the circle well. The circle that I'm using for this demo is a little bit too small, to be honest. But in the closed positions, I can hold it really well. I can follow that circle really nicely. Forward to back. Very nice. 